Hi everyone, in this tutorial, we're gonna add a product variant collections. When your products have several variants, the variant will show it as a separate product. This only applies to the collection list. So when I click the variant collection here, these bike saddles are variants in one product, but I am showing it as a single product in the collection. And you can also provide a second image to that product. So this one right here is the pedal. And when I hover, it shows you the second image I assign to that variant. And we're going to use the middle field variant for this one. So when you click on this product, it would direct them to the product. So it will show here that it has like several variants, but in the collection, it shows the individual product for each variant. So to start though, we have to do the middle field. I added the section on what to click when you're using the variant meta field. So we make sure that we're using the name's secondary dash image. So in our admin store, we're going to go to settings. And we're going to go to meta fields. And we're going to use the variants meta field. So this is what I have to so call this meta fields. We use this code. So you could just add a definition and it will add you a new meta field, but this one will not going to go through since I used this name already. So I will show you how I made it. So secondary image and yeah, it's already taken, but I'm going to use other. Well, you can leave the description blank, but make sure you click this one so you can use it on our storefront code. And then you can add select content. And for this one, we're going to use the file. And I would suggest not to use video, but um, if you want to use it, it's up to you. I will have only images and I will not accept all file types because I want only an image for this one. And then all you have to do is click save. And that's how you do it. And to put this meta field in your variant is to go to your product. So I do have a product here. The saddle doesn't have a second image. So I'm going to put a second image to this saddles. So to make it efficient, I go to my settings and I'm going to add files and then I'm going to upload them at once. So I'm going to upload file and I'm going to look for the saddle um, images. So right here and then click open and I'm just going to highlight them all. So control A or you can just click and drag to highlight them all and then click open. Now our images are going to be available to any part of our store. You can just wait for them to load and it shows in here and then click X to exit. And then we're going to go to our product. So I'm going to find my product. I have full carbon. Um, yeah, this one. Uh, we're going to go down here to our variants. And we're going to click this edit button. This is my efficient way of doing the upload. So you just click the edit button here. And then this is for the red um, saddle. So we're going to add the meta fields right here. Click show all. And then we're going to add our images. So that was red. So we're just going to click red. So see these images are available now in our store. And then you just click the image and then save. Then go back and then we're just going to click uh, yellow and then do it as well. So in our image, we assign yellow and this is just a repetition. So click save and go back and then we're going to go sky blue and then show all and then we're going to click sky blue in here too so let me just finish this so now when we go out from here we should see our variant take an image. So when we refresh this site, we could see that we already have our second image on this 
variant. So that's how you assign the image to the variant. Now we're going to make our collection template and our collection section. So we're going to go to our store again, our admin store. We're going to click online store and make sure it's on Teams. And I just added this Dawn 5.0. So we're going to use this and we're going to click actions and then edit code. So I'm just going to expand my window. So to save time on assigning a collection template to our product collections, we have to determine how many products that has a variant. If your store have a product that mostly have a variant, then we were going to go edit the collection that Jason and just change the section um, part of it, which is this one. So we're just going to change that. But if only a few product that has variants, then we're going to assign or create a custom template and then assign that collection to that custom template. But in this uh, tutorial, we're going to pretend that we have a product that mostly have a uh, variants. So we're going to create a section. So we're going to add a new section and we're going to name this one variant collection and then create a section. And then we're going to go to our website and then grab our code right here. I'm just going to replace this code, um, highlight it and delete and then control V to paste, control A to highlight and shift tab to reformat. And then I'm going to create a template for this section. So I'm going to go to template and we're going to copy the collection that Jason. So open that. So right here, I'm going to control A and control C to copy. And I'm going to add a new template, collection template. I'm going to name this one custom and then create a template. And here I'm going to paste this code. We're going to leave this main dash collection product grid section and then save. And in our collection.json, which is our default template, we're going to change this product grid to our newly created variant dash collection. So we're going to change it, variant collection. And then click save. Now we're going to add the snippet. And we're going to go to our snippet folder and name this one variant card. Make sure you copy the name and then create a snippet. And we're going to go to our website. We just did the template. So we're going to go down here to this step four to create a variant card. And then we're going to copy this code and then control V to paste, control A to highlight and shift tab to reformat and then click save. And that's all you have to do to put the code. But if you want to have a hover image, so let's open our variant. So it will not show the hover image in here. You have to go to customize theme, right click and open a new tab. And then we're going to go to our collections and uh, default collection. And make sure you click the product grid and make sure you check this second image on hover. So when you save, it should show. To assign the collection to the template, the custom template, we just have to go to our uh, products collection. So we're going to go back here. going to go all the way back. And then we're going to go to products and then collections. And we're going to assign a template collection to the bikes. And in here, it's not going to show the custom collection because we don't have the, the new team as published. So we're going to go back to our store. We're going to just open a new tab. And we just edited this one. So we're just going to publish the team. Hit publish and then we're going to go back to our product and it should show the template. So it's in here. So custom template and you just have to click save. And that's how you assign a template for a certain collection. And that's it. If you have any questions, let me know. And don't forget to subscribe. Thank you so much for watching.